Welcome to the Stacked Supplement Podcast, the premier source for supplement news and reviews. With another week comes another summary edition of the Stacked Supplement Podcast, where we run down all the top stories and exciting announcements shared on our website from the past seven days. And last week was indeed a jam-packed week. We had plenty of news to share. Uh, Still some stories we've got left over that we still have to get online from last week, but it was full of excitement. Uh, teasers, previews, unveilings, everything. Um, it was one of the most exciting weeks we'd seen in, in several months. Uh, and if you follow the website, you'll definitely know that. But uh, this episode is here to summarize, go over, and just add a few extra words to each of those exciting stories. Uh, also, if you're a subscriber, you would have caught last week's interview, hopefully, with uh, none other than Lex Kovacs from uh, Rip Sports and Raise Energy. Uh, he is, is great fun always uh, whenever we do meetups at Expos. Um, he's, he's a joy to sit down and chat with, and hopefully you got that in the in the interview. Um, and uh, this coming week, we actually have one with Mark Glazier from Nutribio, who I've met in person, but haven't had on the the, the podcast uh, ever. So it should be a great time. And well respected man of the industry, so it should be great to have him sit down and, and, and chat and and talk about a few things. And um, we also still have our podcast planned with Ghost, which of course. Them being brand of the years is a must. We're still working on that. Hopefully, getting the schedules lined up and and we'll get that together. Uh, to kick off the summary episode uh, from last week, we have one of I guess my favorite story, my most exciting story shared from from the past seven days, and it is the tasty and, and I say tasty even though I haven't tried this. I I can't imagine this not being tasty. It is the tasty new flavor of the Bear Bells Protein Bar. Obviously. Bear Bells Protein Bar is our number one rated protein bar. It has been that way since we stumbled across it at a at a long off supermarket in Iceland, what, three years ago, I think it was now. Um, I mean, it's it's known, the Bear Bells Protein Bar is known as the gold standard in Europe. Uh, it's the best candy bar like protein snack out there. It's, it's, it's impossible to beat. Um, and uh, this past week, they announced another flavor for the product. Uh, which is something they do every so often, every few months, keep it fresh, keep it exciting. A lot of the time, these are limited edition flavors. That is not the case on this one. I don't see, it didn't see any limited mention or call outs. Um, and the flavor is, it, it, again, it has to be, it's going to be awesome. Um, and the main reason behind that is the uh, the newest addition to the Bear Bells Protein Bar menu is actually a spin off of one of its original hit flavors. And that flavor is salty peanut, which is one of the first few to ever kind of come about for the bar. And, and actually, <clears throat> despite it being one of the first, it has remained uh, one of my favorites. Um, one of my favorites for the product, which says a lot. Uh, they've, they've got well over 10 flavors, I think it is, on the menu now. And uh, still one of their first is my top. In fact, two of my tops are two of the originals, and those are caramel cashew and salty peanut. Uh, and the new flavor they've come out with is basically a white chocolate version of salty peanut. And now I have tried white chocolate from Bear Bells in, in other flavors, and I wasn't so impressed. It, it didn't kind of, uh, it doesn't quite have that that white chocolate sweetness, that kind of signature sweetness that separates white chocolate from milk chocolate uh, that I would have liked. And I have experienced it at other protein snacks, so I know it's achievable. Um, but the thing is, on this case, the white chocolate salty peanut, I mean, again, salty peanut is such a great flavor, and it's not because of the chocolate. If you've tried it, you'll know that the, the sweetness and saltiness of the caramel that they nail, it's just, it's untouchable. It's its too memorable. So uh, wrapping that, I guess, in white chocolate versus milk chocolate may not make too much, of a, too much of a difference, but they do have a chance of doing some killer white chocolate and just making this whole thing pop. Um... If I remember the Grenade Carb Killer, they have a, I'm pretty sure it is their one. It's the the white chocolate salted caramel. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure it's their one. Um, that they launched uh, was not that long ago. Um, in fact, it was one of the most recent ones, I would say. And they nailed it. They nailed, uh, it was a perfect balance of the two. Um, sorry, just checking out it now. It is the, it is a white chocolate salted peanut. And they kind of, that was one of the best flavors I tried um, for carb killer in, 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 in a very, very long time. Um, and they nailed the sweetness of the white chocolate and the saltiness of the caramel, um, very well. So 
these guys are already proving them that they can nail those, uh, the caramel and the peanut, better than anyone. I mean, again, I, I haven't tried it, but I can't imagine this not tasting good. So I'm excited to give it a try. Um, they're rolling it out to in Sweden uh, as we speak. Um, typically, when when Bear Bells launches new flavors and products, they they become available in Sweden first. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anything where it, where it was any, anything else. Um, but then they do kind of push them out into surrounding countries, such as uh, uh, in Europe, such as uh, Denmark. I've seen a few roll out earlier in um, in uh, I'm trying to think of the other country, Norway. Um, in that in that uh, Scandinavian region, and then they tend to push them out into other European countries and in, in the UK and um, the rest of the world is sort of very selective. It seems um, it's not like everything that that comes out there eventually gets everywhere else. Uh, either way, I'm going to get my hands on that one as soon as possible. We do it with all the flavors. We don't always review them all, but you know it's good to know. And again, I'm a personal fan of that one, so I have high hopes for it. Uh, but we'll let you know if it's as killer as, as, it, as it potentially could be. Because it may also not turn out that great. Because again, the white chocolate flavor that I've had before for Bear Bells wasn't... Uh, I think it was a white chocolate almond. I'm taking a guess. Um, and I was excited about that too. Because I had that was the first kind of white chocolate I had from them. Um, but it just didn't, just didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped. But okay, I'll let you know otherwise. Um, the next story we have... In fact, a lot of the stories on this episode, a lot of the big ones from last week were, were all functional kind of on-the-go type products. Um, so the next one we got is comes from um, Mark Wahlberg's brand, uh, Performance Inspired. I thought it was, I, I thought this one was mostly interesting. I don't know if I would ever use it. I would find it tricky that the the two main features of this product, I, I find it tricky to for me to, I guess, give a reason to want these two things in a product, but... Now they put them together anyway, uh, and it is it is a it is an RTD called Go Time, and it is both a protein RTD and an energy drink. Uh, so, what they've done is bring together the I guess the the signature feature of a protein RTD and the uh, signature feature of an energy drink into the one beverage called Go Time. Uh, so basically, each RTD, which is a fruit flavored products are not your traditional chocolate and vanilla protein shakes it is um that comes in two flavors fruit punch pow and wild blueberry lemonade uh, and it packs 12 grams of protein per uh, drink and that's all from premium way isolate six grams of carbs so it's not as lean i mean if you were to take two of these you're looking at 24 grams of protein with 12 grams of carbs which in a protein powder is pretty high but again this isn't a protein rtd so it's a uh, it's zero fat uh, and 80 calories, but again, it also has key features of an energy drink by way of 110 milligrams of caffeine. So it gives you a nice, I'm not going to say a huge boost in energy. Um, I'm more of a 200 milligram guy, but or 150 to 200, so it's a little less than that. But you see what I mean by it's bringing two categories together. Uh, it, it's an interesting product. Um, I, again, I would find trouble where I would want these two. I have seen caffeinated protein products before, uh, both RTDs and uh, powders. Again, never really found an area where I would want those two. I guess if I was on the go and only wanted one shake, like for whatever reason, just wanted one drink uh, for pre-workout and post-workout and like didn't want anything else. Or even if I wanted a midday pick-me-up, I guess, um, well, not 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 for the gym, but I wanted a midday pick me up, I guess, for a boost of energy, and I needed to get my protein in at the same time. I could see reason for this. Um, it's most it's mostly more interesting to me than it is uh, something I would use personally. But yeah, that one's from Performance Inspired, uh, Mark Wahlberg's brand, who's uh, really a, a very more mainstream uh, brand, found in a lot of the bigger supermarkets as opposed to you know, like vitamin shops, GNCs, and and, and uh, supplement retailers. Um, but yeah, so that was an interesting one. And again, this episode is, is sticking to mostly functional and uh, on the go products. Uh, and the next story we have kind of continues that theme. And it is it is one of the most popular energy drinks on the market in Bang, who has started the campaign for the next new flavor of uh, its uh, high energy beverage. Um, and this one is uh, Valentine's Day inspired or love inspired or 
just it it's uh they've kind of themed it around saying that um i'm trying to remember what they used yeah they did say it was sort of themed around valentine's day and then and the packaging does reflect that so if you remember a few months back we posted about a product that we saw in the background of like a bang promotional video and to me it stood out like it stood out like sore thumb um so it was a pink and red colored flavor of bang energy and that's not a color combination i'd seen on a flavor of bang uh, and it was just in the background floating around we posted about it we didn't hear anything else after that that flavor that was all those months ago seems to be this valentine's day flavor because it features the same colors of the pink can red accents um although the, obviously we didn't know that it was valentine's day related back then and uh, the new picture we have of this beverage that's coming out um, from bang is uh it's got love hearts in the background it's got a nice little pattern of love hearts so again continues that valentine's theme throughout the uh, the product itself um and that's really all we know uh just that it's pink red little love heart pattern in the background and that's the extent of it um i i mean originally when bang was kind of becoming as well as it is as well known as it is with new flavors and reveals and teasers we would take guesses you know you would you would you would take long shots and then we started getting the birthday cake bash and then we started getting rainbow unicorn and then we started realizing that bang is 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 pretty damn unique and creative and they haven't really stopped doing these unique flavors since so i'm not going to take any kind of guess at what this might be uh, someone messaged me this it's chocolate strawberry you know because it's valentine's day and i was like i understand that but I mean, and, and my initial response, my initial response was that just seems weird for an energy drink. And his response was, "Well, you wouldn't have thought birthday cake was possible either." So, to his credit, that's a pretty damn, that could intentionally that could very well be what we're in for chocolate strawberry. But at this moment, it's anyone's guess. Chocolate strawberry does go with Valentine's Day. Um, not something I would ever have imagined could be translated into an energy drink. I could be wrong. We've been wrong before. Um, but with the colors, I, I mean, again, I don't really, I can't really guess because while I could say based on the colors, it could be a strawberry sweet or something cherry or, or I don't know, something typically sweet and raspberry and berry related and for Valentine's Day, um, it could very well just be something way out in the left field, could just be called Love Heart and who knows what it tastes like. It, again, Bang has shown that it can come out with some unique flavors. And the name doesn't necessarily translate to anything. So, um, you know, we'll wait and see. Uh, you can now pre-order the drink. Again, they haven't revealed the, what the flavor is or what it tastes like. But you can pre-order it through Bang's website. And typically, they're the first people to get it if you pre-order it through there. Um, this is something Bang's done, I guess, I don't know, for the last couple of years, I think. They've done it quite a bit where they make their new flavor available for pre-order without actually telling you what it is. And uh, I guess if you're a fan of Bang, then 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 shit, why not? Obviously, it's a, you get be one of the first to try it. And uh, if you like their flavors, then kind of like me and Bear Bells, right? Uh, I I would pre-order their flavor without a doubt because I've loved every single other one, if not enjoyed all of them and loved most. So um, yeah, I can imagine it's a great opportunity for fans. Um, but the next story we have comes from uh, an, uh, another extremely popular energy drink company and there was this was a bit of a surprise and two surprises in one really um, and while Banks started teasing its next new flavor of its energy drink Rain, uh, Total Body Fuel, the winner of our Clash of the Cans contest from last year, it's the current title holder of that uh, awesome championship, they announced two new flavors for their original energy drink and um, Rain is one of my favorite energy drinks on the market, hands down. I've loved all of their flavors since they've come out. I think I, and I'm pretty sure I've tried, I think the only one I haven't tried is the Lily Koi uh, Lychee, uh, the most recent one. Uh, I've tried all the others, not been disappointed. I mean, it, it's hard to put my finger on which one I like the most. They're all that good. I'm not disappointed with any. In fact, if I would be easier for me to say which ones I don't, I, I'm not, not on joy, just would least prefer. But um, yeah, so Rain's come out and named two new flavors, one of which is kind of traditional, you know what you get in the other. 
I'm really intrigued. And I had a conversation with someone on LinkedIn about this. Um, so the first flavor is cherry limeade. So again, kind of know what you're in for with this one. A typical flavor, especially with supplements, very common flavor for aminos and pre-workouts. The other flavor is white gummy bear. And the interesting thing I thought about this one, and I had this discussion with other people as well, is, uh, I um, again, if it was called gummy bear, oh, that's very interesting. Because again, candy themed, I'll be interested to see how well they translate that actual gummy bear kind of sweet, sugary taste, because it could also pass off as something else. Um, you can, I guess you could put the, how they do the rainbow candies or the, the sour candies, and you could say sour gummy bear, and you could easily relate that. But I thought the very interesting part about this is they've called it white gummy bear. So this is not just any gummy bear. It's not red, yellow, green. This is a white gummy bear. And I was trying to, I had this discussion with someone, and I said, I couldn't honestly pinpoint what white gummy bear is meant to taste like. To be honest, I'm a, I'm a yellow fan. I'm a, more of a fruity fan. So, I mean, I wouldn't really know in my memory what it tastes like. So I'm very interested to see if this just tastes like gummy bear or it tastes like a white gummy bear specifically or it tastes about like the combination of different gummy bears. I don't know. Uh, either way, I'm intrigued to tell about the flavor. Um, and, and, and those two were announced. I don't really know when they're going to be available. Typically, rain rolls things up pretty quickly, though. Um, usually when they surface, it's not too long after that. Sometimes you might get wind of like, oh, this flavor's coming. But this one kind of just popped up, so I wouldn't be surprised if... They start showing up on shelves and stuff like that. It's not like a supplement company where you can buy it from their website first. Um, they tend to roll things out uh, in, in stores kind of just as they can. Um, so yeah, those two should be out there soon. I'll keep it on Amazon. They're pretty quick too and, and, and they can ship all over the all over the country and the world. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that one. I'm very interested to try it. Probably more the white gummy bear than the, than the cherry limeade. Not because I'm not a fan of cherry limeade i'm not a huge fan of it but you know rain has made me a believer out of flavors i didn't think i'd like so i don't doubt that this thing would taste amazing um but i'm more i'm, I'm, I'm more intrigued by the unknown the white gummy bear seems very very interesting um and you can check that out on the site again i've got pictures of the two up there um the next one we have the next story we have comes from uh, legendary labs oh sorry not legendary labs legendary foods uh the functional food company uh who introduced tasty pastry which is their toaster pastry type snack they introduced it about a year ago um two flavors to start and then last year uh, or throughout the year they introduced two more flavors and the interesting thing about those two flavors wasn't necessarily that they bought a whole new kind of experience with the with the different flavors that they had um but they introduced um two flavors that had more uh, protein. So instead of the originals, I think it was like, I'm trying to remember, I know that the, the second two flavors or the the uh, the original flavors had something like, uh, was it nine grams of protein? Yeah, nine grams of protein, 170 calories. And then the, the, then the two follow-up flavors had 15 grams of protein and 150 calories. So they had, I mean, arguably a lot more protein, 16% more protein but less calories and i thought that was really cool to see that they can't but i never tried the other ones so i don't know if they're as good but um yeah so they have more protein less calories and now uh legendary foods has come out with a new flavor called cake star which is their birthday cake flavored uh tasty pastry but the most interesting thing is that they've gone and done it again these things have 20 grams of protein so more uh, five grams more protein than either of those new flavors and more than twice the protein of those original two and the calories are the same as those original two so slightly more than the 15 grams of protein at 170 calories but even when you when you scale it up it's a leaner it's a leaner snack all up at 20 grams of protein and 170 calories and the catch with the cake style tasty pastry is that it's thicker creamier and, and again still leaner so from my understanding you get a lot more filling it's a much heftier uh, toast or pastry, um, but there's no sacrifice in the uh, nutrition. Um, so I'm very intrigued. But I, I didn't grab the the other two from last year um, after the originals, but I might grab this thing because uh, it just intrigues the hell out of me. The fact that they've made it tastier and creamier, um, sorry, creamier and thicker, and still managed to pack more protein in, in the same calories is 
and I think it would be cool to, for me to measure those original two in this one as opposed to those two in the middle and just to tell the real difference, the, big, the bigger difference. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it looks damn delicious. The original two that I tried were amazing um, considering the calories. Um, and uh, again, I feel like they'll nail this one. It's, birthday cake is traditionally a sweet, um, flavorful experience and, and based on how well they did those first couple uh, and the reputation I've seen carry over into those other ones, I have to imagine that this one, uh, this one will also taste damn good. But uh, the last story we have, or the last, a lot of stories we have to round out the show, comes from Halo Top, uh, the the giant, the, the 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 beast that can be found all over the world, all in, through supermarkets in the frozen section. Um, I guess one of the most known, arguably functional frozen food companies out there. Uh, they had a lot of excitement to share this past week. Um, it kind of just came out of nowhere. I don't, usually they tease, sometimes they tease things. I don't really see many teasers. These things, this this news just came out. Um, so the first story we had was that Halo Top has put together, uh, I believe it was three three new flavors for its keto-friendly ice cream, which is a creamier, uh, obviously more, more keto-type macros, high fat, moderate protein, uh, low net carbs. Um, and uh, just note on these ones though, and I mentioned this when we when they first launched the keto friendly ice cream, is that it is keto friendly. But if you're just someone, I guess, looking for low sugar, low carb, or low calories, um, the macros on these are, are pretty beastie. Uh, not bad per se, but just because I mean the original Halo Top ice cream was known for its high protein, low carb, low calorie. Uh, the keto friendly ice cream um, is, is is pretty high up there. I think it's something like um, yes, you get seventeen to twenty two grams of protein. So that's, again, similar to the regular one, uh, which I think sits at twenty if I remember. But you get twenty nine to fifty four grams of fat. Now, what that does, it is a keto style, being the high fat, um, and then you have the the low carb or the low net carbs. Um, that does give you between 410 to 630 calories. Uh, the new flavors do kind of keep with that theme. Um, the semi-high uh, net carbohydrates, which is the number, if you've seen them before, they have the net carbs on the front of their tub. The originals have their calorie count. These have the net carbs um, and the calories, uh, again, 410 to 630. But anyway... The new flavors of the Keto Friendly Halo Top Ice Cream or the Halo Top Keto Ice Cream are uh, chocolate caramel lava cake, which features fudge and caramel swirls throughout the ice cream, uh, a more plainer vanilla bean, and a chocolate loaded brownie a la mode with swirls of fudge, uh, fudge, sorry, fudge swirls and uh, delicious brownie pieces throughout the ice cream. So. Obviously, both delicious. Um, you know, if you're a keto fan and uh, you don't mind the calories, then then damn these things. I have tried them. I've tried a few keto friendly ice creams, and I do love the. I like them. The ones that kind of obviously stay a little less car high carb and a little a little less calories, but um, I do like them better than the the more general low carb low calorie ice creams because they're because they're keto based and they're aiming for high fat. They've been able to get that creaminess in there that, that you get with real ice cream, and it's not really you don't really notice that that's one of the key features of real ice cream until you have keto ice cream and low calorie ice cream, which focuses more on low fat, low carbs, low calories. Um, that, that that creamy fact it plays a big damn role. I've tried Enlightened's one, which is awesome. I've tried a couple others in Europe. Um, again, Halo Top's one is another one. Uh, but yeah, you get them in three new flavors. But as mentioned, that's not where the news end. Halo Top had a buttload more. Uh, excitement. Um, it also announced or shared um, uh, keto-friendly Halo Top Pops. So uh, Halo Top Pops is something the brand has done for a while. Basically, it's it's it's, it's uh, low calorie, low sugar ice cream on a stick. They've now done a keto-friendly version, essentially, where it's the creamy, high fat, um, low net carb ice cream on a stick. Uh, that one comes in, I believe, it is. Four flavors, yeah, four delicious flavors. You got chocolate cheesecake with swirls of fudge and pe- uh, sorry, with swirls of fudge. Then you have peanut butter chocolate, also with fudge swirls plus peanut butter chips. You've then got berry swirl with, of course, streaks and streams of sweet berry, and then you have sea salt caramel with uh, caramel streaks through vanilla ice cream. 
So all of which I have to imagine are delicious. And the one thing I do like about the pops that goes for both Halo Top pops and the the, the keto ones is that I, I like the compactness with, with the tubs. I find you it's it's tough to be like ah oh, you know I've had a quarter. I like to keep low. I like the low carb snacks. Um, and uh, the low calorie snacks and keto friendly snacks can achieve that because not all of them go as crazy high as fat as, as this one um, but uh, well not crazy high but they don't go as high in fat as this one but um, when you get these smaller compact snacks like this one it's pretty cool that it's, it's just easier to know if you're like cool if I eat that that's that's what like 150 200 calories yeah the pops are 130 to 160 when I eat this this is 130 160 at least one on, on the tub it's a bit trickier you'd be like Especially with the with the taperness of the tub, it, it, and it's ice cream tastes amazing, and you got a spoon. I mean, you can get out of control. People, I'm sure everyone understands. But the the last story we got is uh, another story from Halo Top, um, and it's not keto friendly. It is Halo Top fruit pops. Um, so much like the keto pops, it is a uh, stick on a, sna- a snack on a stick. Um, so basically it is kind of just a traditional fruit pop, um, icy little snack on a stick, uh, made with real, um, real fruit juice. And the idea behind these is not keto or high protein, just a, a lower sugar alternative to your traditional fruit pops. Um, there's only, uh, I think they promote it quite heavily on the, on the front. As I said, with the keto ice cream, they put the net carb number on the packaging and then the the original Halo Top ice cream says that calories. Uh, with the Halo Top fruit pops, they put the percentage uh, of less sugar compared to your traditional or regular leading fruit pops, uh, and that ranges from fifty percent to sixty-five percent less sugar. So um, it's it, it's quite different. Again, if you're a fruit pop person, okay, I'm more high protein, low carb. If you're just looking for an alternative to a fruit pop, then this is your go-to. Um, yeah, so they have uh, five to, um, I'm just trying to remember the numbers here, five to nine grams of uh, sugar per pop, um, and uh, calorie count is 35 to 45, so it's 35, 45 calories um, per pop, I believe it's like six per box, um, the only outlier on that is that, as I said, 35 to 45 calories but there is a flavor, a coconut flavor, which has 90. Um, so that's much higher in calories. So if you're looking for something just, just to munch on, again, a better alternative, lower sugar, lower calorie alternative, uh, you, you're getting half the calories in the other flavors outside of coconut, um, of which those other flavors are strawberry, mango, lime, and pineapple. Um, all of these products, all these new Hello Top products, I don't know when they're rolling out. Um, the information is out there. Uh, again, much like the rain, I guess usually when they announce them, they just roll out eventually. They don't really stay now in stores or, um, but yeah, the details are out there. So I imagine you'll be seeing them in your freezers at your local supermarkets and all your usual Halo Top stockers soon. Uh, definitely give, definitely give those, definitely give them a try, especially if you're a Halo Top fan or just a functional fan. Um, they look amazing. And, uh, yeah, for this week's summary episode, that is a wrap. We look forward to having you on for the next episode again. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get that interview with Mark Glazier later in the week, and it'll be live ASAP. We usually record and throw live straight away, so that's why you'll see them at odd times um, and odd days. We just we just do it and throw it. But, uh, yeah, thank you for listening, and look forward to having you back on the next episode.